YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. <coughs> we are on the way to the shop right now. We are going to be replacing the throttle body on the TJ and hopefully clearing up the stutter it has when you floor it or get pretty close to flooring it. And when you turn it on in the mornings, it sucks in a lot of air like if you guys seen the video of when we swapped the motor in and we first started it up it was very loud the air noise was very loud it sucks and it sounds like it's sucking in a lot of air so hopefully it gets rid of that noise and gets rid of the stutter issue that it has and then besides the little squeak from the throw out bearing she should be mint we've got right around 200 miles on the swap maybe like 210 miles on the swap and she's been very good to me so far um it did throw a check engine light though for the cats so pretty sure the cats are clogged because that's not the first time that code showed up it showed up with that code also when the other motor was knocking so pretty sure the cats are going bad um it hasn't come on in the last week or so so we'll see how that goes so i'm hoping i don't have to spend two to three hundred dollars on a header with some cats in it but if that's the case so be it all right so thanks to nate's help getting these pain in the ass little clips off and those things from throttle cable and stuff that took like two minutes to get that one off got the gasket sitting on there I'm gonna put this on, but I need two hands. Ha ha. So much better. These fit. Oh, I don't already put the ratchet at. If that's a long bolt, that's a long fucking, I don't know, it is a long fucking bolt, Jesus. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It looks somewhat clean up and you tighten that I'm gonna go find a, a thing and just that simple and easy stock throttle body on intake on just got to tighten this shit which I can't record and do but he can do that or he'll do this too Damn, this camera is the shit. <laughs> Alright, let's see if she's loud. Well, actually, it's already warm, so. Full voltage. Swing for connection. It's only loud in the mornings, though, so. Don't do that shit to me. You think? Well, according to my dad, he thinks the issues are caused from the IAC on the throttle body. But if you put an aftermarket throttle body on your Jeep, it takes like five minutes, literally. Just three clips, four bolts, and it's on there. And a gasket. You should probably put a gasket on it. But that fixed the sound, probably fixed the stutter issue, which we'll find out when we leave, which we're about to do. This thing has four wheel freaking steering. Freaking mint. 
look at this baller Land Cruiser. Third row seat, sliding rear windows. Oh, dude, they shampoo the carpets. Damn, they really clean this, their stuff. And a rear tire carrier. All right, two things before we roll out. We love our Jeeps and I am in love with Grand Wagoneers and this thing's at the shop. Don't know what for, but I mean, they took the paint, wood paint off, whatever the hell's there, they took it off. But this, I think Grand Wagoneers are so baller. Took the headliner down. So cool. And then, lastly, before we head home, this guy right there. This is my dad's YJ. That will go inside, and I'll show you guys. Motorless, transmissionless. Look at that. Empty, empty. That only means a few things. This transmission which I don't remember what my dad said it is, but he's going to get a clutch kit for it. It's an automatic. Bolted up to. That. 4.8 liter V8 with one ton axles out of a Ford F-350. We need to get away from the radio so we don't get demonetized again. Well, so far it seems like that has fixed the stutter issue. Um, I know in my first XJ, and I can sense it and feel it in this one too, when you get to like about 3000 RPM, it kind of hits like VTEC. Like, I, it's weird to say that it, it's not VTEC, it's Jeep Tech. But when you get to a certain RPM, which is right around 3000, it opens up even more, so it's slow. And you know that you can notice like when you're rolling into it oh there's a deer crossing the road oh there's multiple deer it kind of like i don't even know how to explain it it kind of feels like v-tech in a way but i already can tell a difference with the pedal on um, this pedal feels a lot softer now which feels very strange and something is definitely a little weird because it, the pedal kind of sticks when it's not in use so the second you touch it you can kind of feel it like you have to give it a little bit extra to get off of that spot that it's stuck on um i don't know how to explain it if you drive if you would drive it you'd understand but in other words like my pop said um he said i mean he always said it from the beginning that it's probably the iac and now it's quiet so and it doesn't stutter so we're gonna drive it like this for a couple days and then we'll come back and probably put the edge performance on i don't know if i ever said that that's what the throttle body was before we end off this video i am moving this weekend and i'm finally i have all my money situated now so i'm going to be probably lifting the jeep within probably the month of April um, which means I need to figure out what size we're going with what brand we're going with all of the everything that goes into a lift I want to keep it very dailyable as I am going to daily it over the XJ um, so I don't want to use any blocks I don't really want to use anything I definitely don't want to put any body lift on it I'd like to just stick to coils and if anything blocks for the coils also. I will not use a body lift because they look very strange separating the body from the frame. So I'd like your guys opinion on lift brands, what size you think I would go with. I'm looking, I mean the only one I've really considered going with is the Rough Country X Series 4 inch lift. It literally comes with everything, front and lower, um, adjustable control arms for the front and rear. So upper and lower, sorry, upper and lower, front and rear. Um, I 
believe there's track bars in there. Literally everything is in that lift for $1,200. Um, I heard people, some people have mentioned zone. I need your guys' opinion on what lift we should go with, what brand, what size. Um, I think four is my max. I don't really want to do a six or anything over four because I just want to run 33s as that's what I have on the XJ, which I'd probably just swap the 33s onto this and put the Moab wheels on the XJ and find a cheap set of trail wheels because that's what the XJ is mostly going to be used for is the trail. But enough rambling on. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I'll probably see you guys in a couple days when we decide to put the edge the throttle body back on this thing. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in next video. Have a good time. Enjoy life till then. Peace out.